Hello Catalyst Home Team clients in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a short tutorial on Dot Loop. Dot Loop is a system that allows us to work together as a team to get electronic signatures on contracts, to share forms, and also to download forms for your personal records. So when we set up a document that needs your electronic signature, you will be getting an email alert from Karen and uh, here is a great example of what that will look like. It's asking you to view the document and this will allow you to sign the document. So once you click on view document, a new tab or page will open up that will take you directly to the document where we need your signature. So when you get into the document, it's very easy. You just click on this start signing um, blue ribbon up here and it will directly take you to the, the first place that we need your signature or initial. In some documents, you will need multiple places to sign. In this example, we're just going to sign one time. Uh, where it points you to, you just have to click on where it needs your signature or initials. One thing to note here is to please use your full legal name. No nicknames here. If you go by your middle name, but you sign legal documents with your first name, want to make sure that that's set up here. And this is the opportunity where you can change that if we don't have it set up correctly for you. So this is the place where you can edit it to just Stephanie Smith or whatever your name is and just make sure your initials reflect that as well. And then all you need to do is click adopt and sign and it will automatically go ahead and put your signature in there for you. And you can see the dot loop verification here right next to it. So if there is um, multiple fields that you need to click on, then it'll take you to the next option. Otherwise, when you're done, you just click on this blue ribbon that says confirm signing. You may need to um, set up an account if you've never used dot loop before. So just put in your email in this field here and then go ahead and choose a password that you can easily remember. If you don't easily remember passwords, then I would encourage you to write it down. Once you've got those uh, entered in, just go ahead and click sign up and um, it will take you back to your dot loop portal. So this is where you can see everything that is in your particular loop, which is just kind of a folder of all the documents. Uh, you can see that there's also other documents that may not need your signature, but are definitely things that we want you to be aware of and look through and read through. A good example of this is this, what buyers should know about flood, ha flood hazard areas and flood insurance. That is something that uh, Georgia requires us to disclose to you as our clients. When you scroll down, you'll see the people that are involved in this loop. There may be multiple people listed here. It may be one of your spouses. It may be a parent who might be on the deed with you. Anybody whose signature we need for these contracts will be listed here. Uh, below people are our tasks. And so um, if there are any tasks that are assigned to you, they will show up here. This one's assigned to Stephanie Smith. Uh, some of these tasks may include scheduling your home inspection, scheduling your termite inspection, we want to make sure that we've got these assigned to you and if there is a due date assigned to them uh, then you will get an email alert to remind you that these are due. When you scroll back up uh, you will see that there is an option right here for messages and if you would like to send us a message you may do so here. This might involve asking any questions about documents or just letting us know that you've signed it. We do get an email alert. Uh, the moment you uh, click on sign, we get an email alert. But if you feel like you'd like to send us a message, you may do that here. And one more popular feature is also up here. Um, if you click on any of the documents that we have shared with you, um, there's a feature right here that's download. Once you click on download, um, it will go ahead and pop up with the PDF um, or it may save it to your desktop. Um, one of those two options will occur and this would allow you to save it to your hard drive for future reference. Um, and so hopefully you will find that helpful as well. So one last thing to talk about, there are two ways to access .loop. The first way is through the link you received in your email. 
Uh, again, that looks like this, where you click on the document. If you happen to lose the email, uh, you can always just go to www.dotloop.com and it will take you directly to any of the loops that you have through Dotloop. If you have any questions, please let us know how we may help. And absolutely, we appreci appreciate the opportunity to serve you and hope this tutorial was helpful for you.